Good afternoon, guys. Good evening. God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Happy Wednesday, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's another hot one for us here in Dallas, um, but it has been an amazing one. So what am I going to be reviewing today? Uh, today, guys, this one has given up on me. This is the rigid six gallon. Many people have asked me a couple of times, hey, what do you use uh, as your daily? It was this one right here, the rigid six gallon air compressor, guys. But um, to be honest, it I use it a lot. So uh, it reached this point where it, uh, it stopped functioning. It's not building any more uh, pressure for the air to come out. So uh, I had to make a huge decision and I had to upgrade. So that's what we want to talk about today, or I really wanted to talk about to you guys. I finally upgraded to the rigid 4.5 uh, gallon air compressor. Some of you guys may say that, that is not an upgrade. You downgraded. <laughs> but um, stay tuned, guys, and let's have some fun. Go over this new one, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so this is the rigid 4.5 uh, gallon air compressor guys. Uh, this one has been, uh, for the past uh, day, I have actually been really trying to play with this so I can kind of give you guys an honest feedback or, you know, what do I think about it? Uh, but so far, this thing is a little workhorse. It's a powerhouse to be honest guys. Um, as you guys saw previously, I had the six gallon air compressor um, and in my eyes, six gallons, I was like, I have more air, right? Uh, but obviously, I'm very new to all this, the CFM and all that. So I really never, um, I never really paid attention to, to all that till, you know, as you guys start working more, you're like, dang, this thing loses air very quickly. And that's the issue I had with my six gallon air compressor. I would pull the trigger and real quickly the air would diminish, right? So it wasn't pulling that CFMs that I needed. I've been seeing a lot of detailers um, uh, use this and buy this one. And they've told me, hey, you need to buy you this four and a half gallon. In my head, I was like, no, why would I wanna buy something that has less gallons and I'm gonna lose air, right? That was my theory or that was my, my thought. Um, but it takes one minute and about 33 seconds to fully fill up, right? That's pretty quick, to be honest. Once, when I get to my job site now, I literally turn it on. And then while I'm getting everything set up, this thing is already full and I am ready to attack these interiors, right? Um, so it's very quick. It has a strong start. Um, which is going to help, you know, get this thing fold up and get it ready for working. Um, but another key feature that this one has is, uh, it gives me about, it gives you 200 PSI. My six gallon was only giving me like 150. So you get a little bit more with this one. <coughs> now, many people will say, well, you downgraded cause you only have four and a half gallons, right? Uh, in a way, maybe I did downgrade, but I upgraded tremendously in the CFMs. This one at 90 PSI, which is our Tornador, our Vortex air tool. Any air tool we use sometimes requires about 90 PSI. Um, you know, and those are the numbers I was looking at is the Tornador and my Vortex. You need about 90 PSI and the CFMs are always higher because you want that output coming out to make sure that your product that the, to make sure that this thing spins correctly, right? Uh, and you don't lose that much um, pressure. Uh, so this one at 90 PSI, guys, you're gonna get about 5.1 CFMs, 5.1. Usually the recommended CFMs for a Tornador or a Vortex is they want you to have at least 4.5 CFM output going out, right? This thing has 5.1, which is way more than what we want um, or we need, but it's gonna do the job, guys. Um, but this thing is really good. Uh, next thing I wanted to talk about was the noise, right? This one here <coughs> is a much more quieter than my six gallon for sure. Um, and then uh, on this following video, guys, I did a quick video of me turning both of them on. And hopefully you guys can, uh, can listen uh, to one or the other. Unfortunately, maybe the, the microphone isn't really gonna pick it up, the, the noise. But honestly, this one is much more quieter, but check this next video out of me turning both of them on 
and we'll be right back. But anyways, as you guys saw in that video, this one here is definitely much more quieter. Um, you know, for some mobile detailers, they're always looking for something quiet. You know, this one is still, um, it's quiet, but it's not as quiet as some other ones out there. But it gets the job done, guys, to be honest. It's much more quieter than my six gallon, that's for sure. Um, next thing is uh, it has these... Uh, it comes with two outlets. These are, it looks like stainless steel outlets. Um, it has these rubber at the bottom. It has your rubber, um, like rubber soles, which I believe, honestly, they help with vibration to kind of keep it from rattling and all of that. Uh, it comes with, it has two um, exit uh, for the air's uh, release right down here in the front. You're, you Obviously, you open that out to make sure you can release all the, the air and you don't have no residue, no buildup um, later on. Uh, so always make sure you clear these out because if not when you're using them um, you'll sp it'll spit out water because it's in the um, in the tanks but overall guys right now I'm gonna set it I'm gonna set this vortex to I'm gonna set this vortex to 90 that's 75. That should be 90 right there, guys. So I'm going to um, step back just a little bit to kind of hopefully you guys can listen to the Vortex Air Tool running. And you'll hear this um, air compressor turn on, but you will not hear this Vortex losing pressure. So let's kind of back this camera up and uh, let's give it a go. Alrighty, guys. So we are... Um, I'm now going to turn this on. The uh, Vortex, everything is on. The Vortex is at 90 PSI, guys. And hopefully you guys can hear it. And you'll hear the air compressor kick on as well. So right now we have 90. Uh, we have it at 90 PSI. Let's give it a go. And let's see if we can hear this maybe diminishing on the air. So it's not probably won't be the best video, but we'll see. Here we go. I'm sure you guys just heard the air compressor go off. And that air is still going just like when I started it. So that's one of the beauties of uh, having this air compressor is that it's going to keep pushing it. It's going to keep giving you the... Um, the, the the power to you know get the job done uh, no matter where where you are no matter where you are this air compressor is a workhorse this little thing will work guys as you guys hopefully heard on this um, audio or the visual uh, you didn't see this vortex air tool diminishing on the air it constantly kept going just like when i started it so that's the beauty of it that's where the tornador this vortex will come into effect and especially having a uh, a nice little air compressor like this that's going to be pushing the cfms that we're needing to get the job done very compact very very uh uh very easy to maneuver i literally just put it right in between my air compressor and my generator it goes in there and that's it guys um, but overall if you're looking for a compressor that is gonna get the job done out in the field for you uh, for our three hundred and twenty dollars plus tax uh, obviously I put insurance on this one so it was around like 350 I think altogether um, but for the price I will not even complain after using it these couple of days I am excited to actually have this because of 
just having this vortex running constantly and without losing pressure like i used to on my on my six gallon air compressor it's a win for me guys so hopefully this video might help you on deciding your next purchase this is really nice for all of us mobile detailers that are looking for something that is compact ready to go anywhere you know it's not going to be too loud this is definitely one of the best ones i've had um and it's orange what can i say <laughs> but anyways you guys have a blessed day be safe i'll see you guys on the next video